Deep in the forests of Central and South America, the giant anteater trawls across the forest floor. The giant anteater is one of the laziest creatures in existence. So lazy, it doesn't even have teeth. It's too lazy to chew its food. Instead, it flicks its tongue 160 times per second through its rotating lower jaw to collect its usual prey of ants and termites. In order to keep energy costs at a minimum, it uses its own prey's formic acid to break down the insects in its stomach. Sad. Ant eaters are the underachievers of any terrain they're on. Its body temperature is 3 degrees Celsius, lower than an average mammal. To compensate for its low mobility in diet, it has a very low basal metabolic rate of 0.01 kcals per gram per day. In addition, every day they go into a mini-hibernation-like state called torpor to lower their energy expenditure. They're so lazy and uncommitted, we actually struggled to find footage of it doing anything that wasn't eating, so we had to make our own. The only thing an anteater is motivated to do is eat. Anteaters eat around 35,000 insects a day, 96% ants and 4% termites. Their diet is slightly different if they were to eat all ants as opposed to their usual mixture of mostly ants and termites. A mix of the two insects supplies them with 18.4 kcals per day. 33,600 ants contributes 16.8 kcals per day, one ant being 0 0.0005 kcals, while 1,400 termites contribute 1.59 kcals per day, and one termite is around 0 0.001136 kcals, for a total of 6,715 kcals per year. If their diet consists of purely ants, which are more readily available during drier seasons, 35,000 ants contributes to 17.5 kcals per day, for a total of 6,387.5 kcals per year. This is a 5% decrease in their yearly kcal intake. Despite this, it is not easier in South America to have a picnic.